Next, you'll see the Passport Information section, and it's pretty much straightforward. Just select Yes or No. If you selected Yes, then the passport details will need to be entered here, and then select the button to continue. For the National Identity Document section, it can be a bit tricky. If the principal applicant has a national ID, you would select Yes, and then enter the requested information here. You may notice that the expiry date is a required field, but their ID card may not actually have one. In this case, simply enter 300101 for the expiry date. We have also learned that some people have occasionally experienced a system glitch for this particular question. For example, if the principal applicant does not have a national ID and they try to select the no option, the system will not let them save that response. If this happens to you, then simply select yes and enter in all zeros for the number, today's date for the date of issue, and 300101 for the expiry date, and choose a country name from the drop-down list. Be sure to also upload a letter of explanation which lets IRCC know that you had encountered this system glitch. And because of this, you had to enter in this mock information so that you would be able to submit the application. You will see where the letter of explanation should be uploaded when we get to the segment on where to upload forms and documents. To continue, click on the button to save the information and move to the next section. This section contains questions about the principal applicant's education and previous work. First, select from the drop-down list the highest level of education that applies to the principal applicant, and then enter in the total number of years of education, which should include elementary and secondary school. For example, if they had eight years of elementary and four years of secondary with no post-secondary school, then you would enter in a total of 12 years of formal education. Next, you will enter their intended occupation. So for example, what type of work will they aim to do in Canada? If they intended to continue studies, indicate student and perhaps also what they hope to do when they graduate. Then click on the button to save this information and continue. This section contains questions about the principal applicant's language skills. First, select their native language from the drop-down list. In the guide, you can ignore these bullet points since they do not apply to the online application. Next, select if they can communicate in English or French, both or neither, and if they have taken a language test to assess their English or French. Then click the Save and Continue button. 